Gyms around Iowa are full of people working to stay in shape, but if you look around, you will see powerful moments unfolding, like here at On With Life in Ankeny, where one Iowa teenager is making life-changing steps. Right, let's see if we can do 10 of them. Squats in the gym can make even the strongest legs feel shaky. Good, nice. But for Jay a fever, that trembling is a welcome feeling. You got five more. Because one year ago, she couldn't even move. A car crash on December 9th, 2022 shattered everything when the high school senior on her way to school on a foggy morning hit a utility pole. It's just the story you didn't think you were going to be living, um, and that's the story of tragedy. A traumatic brain injury, a coma, and the darkest days followed. Once an artist with big dreams, 18-year-old Jaya now suddenly faced the possibility of never being able to use her hands again. It's hard because you're grieving the daughter that was and, and, and the hopes and dreams maybe you had, you know, like we thought she'd be at college. That's um, one of the hardest parts is learning to let go yeah. of what you were holding on to. Mm -hmm. And you don't realize what you're holding on to until you have to let go of it. But with letting go came new beginnings, pivotal moments that rewrote Jaya's story. Like when she stood for the first time three weeks after the accident. Okay, so it's ready. One, two, three. Here we go. Push. Good job, Jaya. Wow. Still in a coma state, Jaya's parents describe this moment as their first sign of hope. Get a girl, lift your head. Lift your head up. You look so good. Hold and push, push, you're standing. Look up, Jaya. Good job, Jaya. You look so good. All the way. Up tall, up tall. Can you try and pull up tall? Bring your eyes up to me up here. Up tall, up tall. Jaya, look at me over here. Yeah. Good job. Jaya. Jaya, that's awesome. Looking so good. And hope kept growing from there. Jaya spent months at Shirley Ryan in Chicago, learning to touch, move, and walk again. At first, I mean, I thought, like, I didn't know what was going on, so I felt like I was in a dream, and I didn't know why I can do all of these things that I should have been able to do. It took months for Jaya's brain to comprehend the trauma it endured. She says she often felt like a prisoner in her own body. Everyone my age and even younger than me will be in college or graduated and I don't want to be like I kind of feel like I'm being left behind even though I'm not. Determined not to be left behind, Jaya set a goal to walk at her high school graduation in Adair. Jaya Madeline Fever. And with hundreds watching and a cane in hand, she took those monumental steps about six months after the crash. Because she was focusing so hard on every step she was taking, trying not to trip, getting up the stage, she didn't know that she got a standing ovation. She saw everybody sit down once she came down the stage and she said, well, why did everybody sit down for me? And I'm like, Jaya, everybody stood for you. Like, you got a standing ovation. It was, it was amazing. Yeah. There you go, big strides. Inch by inch, day by day, Jaya continues to get stronger with the help of her therapist set on with life in Ankeny. When she came in, like the walk test we did, she can only do like 600 feet. We just redid that a few weeks ago and she could do like 1,500 feet in the same amount of time. So she's doubled the distance, not on a cane anymore. Jaya still has double vision from the brain injury, which hinders her balance. Despite this, she keeps going. Sink into those legs, push through your heels. Good. It's, it's like I had to get used to it because the last one I was like, okay, I have to like be on my toes. Yep, yeah, you have to switch your mechanics up. Three days a week, she's in the gym. She has worked so incredibly hard. Every and day. Every day, and I mean, and every day is hard, you know, like every step she takes is hard. She has to think about where she places her foot. All, I mean, every single step she takes. Come up, big push. Good. Nobody can 
to make your progress, your steps for you, you have to be able to like be willing and motivated enough to do it yourself. JNL hopes to be a therapist one day, working with patients with traumatic brain injuries, showing them she is walking proof that small steps make the biggest difference. I think that would kind of hopefully be inspiring to them.